Hey guys and welcome back to another video on the Road Builder YouTube channel. Today we're back to making our thousands of assets. Quite literally guys, we have to make just so many assets. Anyways, today we're going to be focused on food and uh, I'm hoping they, they're going to turn out great, okay? I haven't made food, well literally, IRL or in Blender. Like I'm so hungry, I need to go get a snack. Anyways, guys, we're going to start this off with making some pancakes. Yes, some pancakes, you heard me right. So so we're gonna start this out with a cylinder I'm gonna go eight sides keep in mind I'm going for this very low poly vibe you already know so we're gonna have some uh, some octagonal pancakes okay trust and believe let me get this up here and uh, you know let's let's go a little thicker on the pancake we can always scale it back a little bit later let's grab let's see I'm gonna loop cut the middle here and scale it out all right and then i'm gonna grab the top and the bottom face and inset those hear me out fellas hear me out we're gonna inset them like so and i mean to be fair this is practically the pancake shape like <laughs> let me show you guys so shade smooth and auto smooth and then when we go to texture this let me uh yeah yeah we should run it like this <laughs> you whoa i don't know what all of that was <laughs> you project from view whoa not this view hold on there we go and this has to be like we might as well actually do a uh, scale and zero okay that could be that color and then let's grab the rest of this right here grab all of those as zero and this is just going to be a bit darker than the last one i don't remember where the last one was at though okay right there Oh no, this should be a bit lighter. I think I've got it flipped, so these ones should be a bit darker. So let's try something like this. Let me go ahead and add a material here. I mean, it's close. The colors are definitely off. I think we need to go more of like a cooked color. Hmm, they seem just real dark for a pancake. All right, so I think I'm happy with this kind of a shape for the pancake. I am gonna do Shift D. And uh, let me see, we're gonna put this right on top. We'll make like a triple stack of pancakes, move it over a little bit, give it a little bit of rotation, and then kind of copy the bottom one, bring that one up. We're gonna make a whole breakfast plate, guys, all right? I just, just thought of it. We'll make a whole breakfast plate. So we got some pancakes, some syrup, some uh, maybe an egg, who knows, some bacon. We're about to make a whole breakfast plate, guys. So up next, we could make a little thing of butter if we wanted to, just to kind of sell that pancake effect. Now to do that, it's gonna be just a cube. I'm gonna scale it down, and then I'm gonna do S and Z, I believe. Yep, that was right. Let's scale that down a bit more. Bring it on up top, something like this. We'll do S and Y, because I don't even think it needs to be, or no, S and uh, Z, because we don't want it to be that thick. I personally, guys, I'm gonna get a little, uh, a little real life with you real quick i don't eat butter on my pancakes all right i i feel like i had to tell you there's a tremendous amount of weight lifted off my chest now so i appreciate <laughs> i appreciate you guys for listening a tremendous amount of weight is off my chest all right so this i'm gonna kind of shape into some sort of melted butter uh let me go here here and uh we might as well do like three of them on that side three of them on that side uh, we'll just do three all around so like this and now we're gonna turn on proportional editing grab our vertices select and just kind of like shape this like really weirdly uh and hope for the best i guess butter would not be like this smooth but uh hey it is what it is it just looks so awkwardly smooth so what i'm gonna do is bevel the edges uh and hope that helps a little bit Ooh, I think that actually helped quite a bit uh, now that I'm looking at it. And also, we need to bevel this guy a little bit because, guys, butter, if it already melted a little bit, it's not going to be a perfect square. Uh, I should do Control A and all transforms. There we go. Now, if I do the bevel, it will work a lot better. So, we're going to do kind of a slight bevel, something like this. And then we don't need that face on the bottom. So, I'm going to bring that up grab this face and delete it just trying to keep these optimized i can't say what all the assets are for just yet but just know that you guys will have access to every asset that i'm creating in this series okay so like you gotta get hyped let's shade smooth and auto smooth on that um we might want to bring this up to say we're clicking on the pancakes yikes this may be like 35 40 40 looks pretty good and then let's go ahead and join these with the pancakes Ugh. 
Ugh, imagine if you got pancakes and your butter looked like this. That is tough. Let's go ahead of you, project from view, scale this way, way, way down. There we go. We could turn off proportional editing. Not overly needed. And now we need a good yellow, maybe like a soft yellow. Or should we go a bit darker or like, I guess, lighter, maybe? I, I don't know what the, uh, <laughs> I don't know what we would call it. Is this too yellow? No, that actually looks, hey, I mean, that actually looks all right, I guess. <laughs> Now, let's see. Let's go ahead and make some bacon real quick. For that, it's gonna be kind of, kind of eh, to say the least, guys. So, check it out. I have an idea for it. I'm gonna do SX to kind of scale this as a bacon strip. Tab into edit mode. Put a couple little slashes like this. And then a few like this. There we go. Now, I'm gonna grab every other set of lines, like so. Drag them up. And this is gonna be our bacon strip, guys. Believe it or not, I know, I know. We gotta just, we win some and we lose some, all right? Let's turn on proportional editing and scale on the ends. Uh, just cause, cause hey, we might as well. Try to give it some sort of a shape, I suppose. And now it's all gonna de depend on the texture we have. So let's just grab all of this and do project from view, A, S, and zero. There's no need for like a gradient on here. And then we're gonna need to go a light brown Make sure we add a texture to it. Not a magic texture. Not what I meant to do. I always forget that I could just do it this way. And there we go. So, as you can see, up here, like the uh, discolorations, kind of makes it look like bacon. But we're going to go one step further. So I'm going to grab every other line, just like this, and move those down to the darker side. And there we go. We got a little strip of bacon that might be a little too dark. Uh, let's go up a little bit. Something like this. I'll take it. There's our bacon, and I am going to add a solidify modifier to that, just to uh, give it a little more oomph. Nobody wants a super thin, oh, whoa, not skin, my bad. Nobody wants a super thin piece of bacon, guys. So let's add a solidify modifier. There we go. I'm going to keep it at the, uh, the normal settings there. And there we go. We've got bacon. We've got pancakes. We have, you know, some, uh, some stuff on top of our pancakes. Let me join those together. Oh, wait, no, because I'm going to need... I need to have one of these as like a separated asset. Like all of this needs to have its own piece as well. So yeah, let me let me do that a little bit. Piece selection. There we go. Oh gosh. <laughs> all right. So now we have a pancake, a piece of bacon, and some butter. Those are all separated. Now we can grab all of these. Do Control J. Of course, that's not gonna work. We gotta grab them like this. There we go. And we're gonna need a plate, of course. So let's go ahead and do that. Those are super, super simple. You're just gonna want a cylinder. We are gonna go a little bigger on the cylinder. I'm gonna bump this up to 12, just because I don't want them to be the exact same shape as the uh, the pancakes. I think that would look a little off and uh, overall not that great. So I think to make a plate, I'm just gonna inset this and uh, drop the middle down a little bit like that and then i'm gonna grab the edge extrude along face normals just a little bit so it looks like this shade smooth and auto smooth of course there we go and we're gonna need a texture on this guy because bruh you're looking a little plain at the moment and then we'll just do you project from view and this can have a very very slight gradient you'll barely notice it i think we're gonna go like a gray white sort of vibe something like that scale it up there we go set origin to uh, geometry to origin there we go that is a massive massive plate we'll go something like this awesome and i'm gonna grab this edge here and see if i can mark it sharp uh mark sharp and then that should yeah there we go that makes it a little bit better and i'm gonna do the same for this one as well and now it just lets you see that uh, that division a little bit more. Uh, the bottom of the plate should probably have some form of something going on too. Maybe like this, scale it in, uh, extrude, scale that in, and then inset and bring that up a little bit. So now we have some sort of a, of a plate bottom here. There we go. Now we have a plate. That looks legit. So let's start setting up our plate here. We got our pancakes, our nice pancake stack. We have our bacon right here. What else do we need for a nice breakfast? Guys, we need some eggs. So let's do that. I'm going to just kind of scale that down. Shift D. There we go. Now let me give this a little, little rotate. All right. Something, something light. Okay. Nice. And now all we have left to make is some eggs. Let's go ahead and make this plate a separate thing as well because, yeah, we're going to need that. Just more assets, you know? The more individual assets, the better. 
All right, up next, we just need to make some eggs. I have no idea how I would put butter on this. I think I'd probably do the same, or not butter, syrup. I'd probably do the same thing I did with the butter and uh, just kind of make it a different shape. And then of course, recolor it. But anyways, nonetheless, it's time for the egg. And I don't think it's gonna be too, too hard. So I'm gonna go ahead, let me go ahead, move all of this stuff over a little bit. And then we're gonna do shift A. And I think I'm gonna start out with a, I could use UV sphere or Ico sphere. I'm gonna do Ico sphere, bump this up. Uh, I should probably just do UV sphere. Just like this, we're gonna go into wireframe mode, edit mode, we're already on face select. We're gonna delete this bottom half's faces because bruh, we don't need them. And then we're gonna grab these right here. And I'm gonna do ES to scale those out. And now we can kind of shape our egg here. Uh, edit mode. And we're gonna use proportional editing again, but quite a bit smaller. Uh, a little bigger than that. Maybe something like this. And then I'm just gonna make it a very weird shape. Uh, so it, you know, isn't perfect because, hey, have you ever made an egg in a perfect circle? I don't think so. Uh, this is definitely way too harsh of an angle here. That looked ugly. <laughs> we don't want it to look horrible. Like, we want it to look like a nice egg. I should probably boost proportional up just a little bit. All right, guys, so this is definitely looking a lot better egg-wise than it was previously. This one right here needs a little bit of love, okay? This is not exactly looking fantastic. Let me try to... There we go. I think that's a little bit better. It's still a little sharp, but I don't think it's uh, too, too bad. Now, we're going to go ahead and grab all of these, and I'm going to do extrude and well i could just solidify it but i don't need all the extra faces so i'm just gonna extrude it on the z-axis just like that and then we're gonna go ahead and bevel right here very very slightly there we go now shade smooth perfect and then we're gonna auto smooth yo i mean a it kinda is looking like an egg i feel like this needs to be uh i don't know just just flatter maybe all right, so guys, I'm gonna do this, and then Control plus, oh, I'm not selecting anything, hold up. All right, and then I'm just gonna do Control plus and delete those, all those faces, perfect, and then use this and fill in the top. Just like that, I think that, uh, well, now he's a little too flat. <laughs> I could bring him up, uh, off with proportional editing and bring this up just a little bit. That helps, all right, let's texture this thing. Oh yeah, that looks great. Y'all know green eggs and ham? How about weird blocky rainbow egg, huh? I think it looks fantastic. For this, we're gonna project from view A, scale this way, way down, make it a nice, nice yellow because you don't want a nasty egg. And then right here, we're gonna do the same thing. You project from view, scale it way, 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 way down. And then this has to be like a nice white. We don't even want like a gray white. We need a white white because bruh, we don't want a weird gray egg. And there we go, guys. We got an egg. Let me bring this, uh, scale it down a little bit, bring it over here, and then I will duplicate it and put one on the plate as well. Perfect. Let's bring this, uh, whoops, grab the egg. Let's bring this over on the plate. Nice. Something like that looks okay. And let's rotate it to kind of match the, the plate setup a little bit better, because right now it, it's kind of a mess. Uh, okay. I I'm just gonna have to go with it. There we go, guys. So... We have made a breakfast plate. We got pancakes, butter, eggs, bacon, and of course, the plate itself. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more content like this, please make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Have a great day. Later.